Come back. So it's very cool that we now have an image preview and we of course also need to be able to, when we actually write a name here and press the add button, we of course need to upload this image that was just created somehow. So that's the step of this lesson. How do we actually upload the actual image? And there's a few things we need to know. If we go into the image scrubber right here and we scroll down, you'll notice that we get a few pieces of information down here on the event, the image cropped event, that we can actually get the base64. That's what we're doing right now. And that's actually the image, the cropped image as a string, like I've already shown you. We can also get the image as a file, but it's actually not the file in JavaScript that we know. It's actually what we call a blob of the cropped image. And that doesn't contain all the information that a file needs in our setup right now. So we'll use the blob and we'll use that to create a full file and just upload that file like we've done uh, before. So we won't have to change our service right now, but in the refactoring session, I'll show you how you can actually directly upload a base64 string to fire storage because you can actually do that. But now let's just use the code as we have it and just take this blob, which is a representation of the file, and use that blob to create a real file that we can upload to Firebase storage. Coming into the code right here, now I need a few things to do this. First of all, I need the actual file before it's been manipulated. Now luckily I can that get that, so I'll just say file, uh, let's just call it const right here, file before crop, and I can get that file by saying I want to use the image event, the one that we created, this is the first event, the one that was triggered as soon as I choose the file, right? So that event is triggered when I do this part, the selection right here, the first selection, that's when that event, uh, that event triggers. And that has the original file inside it. And we can get that by saying this.imageEvent. And there we can actually say files. Oh, sorry, target. And in there we can say files, just like we've done earlier. And I can say file zero. And this is actually now the file before it has been cropped, right? So now we have that available. Now the second thing I need to do is figure out how I can actually take the file um, this guy in file to upload here, I wanna make that into a new file. Let's just get rid of this for now, boom, boom. So I want the file to upload to be the actual file that I wanna upload to Firebase. I can do that by saying, this crop file is going to be a new file that I'm going to create now. Now the new file is going to contain the blob, so to add the blob in the file, the first step is to add an array because we need an array of, because we can have an array of blobs when we're creating a file. Uh, so what we need here is that we need to use the event but not get the base64 part of the event. We're instead going to get the file part, which is a blob. So now we've kind of explained to the file, this is like the clean data of the file we're going to put into the new file that we're creating. It needs more arguments. The second argument it needs is the name of the file. And we can do that now by saying file before crop, and that is a file, so we can get the name right here for the file, right? So now we have a file name available as well. Now the final thing we need to put in here is going to be the type of the file. So I'm going to write type right here, and I'm going to say file before crop dot type. So there we go. Now we've actually created a new file and put it inside the file to upload whenever we crop the image. Let me just put the cropping up here because we still need that part to kind of, this part is the one that we show in the preview, right? So this is preview, and this part down here is converting for upload. Right, so, so now we're doing two different things right here. And again, I don't think this belongs here as of such, so we're going to later make this better by actually going in and moving some of this into different areas in the code so it doesn't look as messed up as it is right now. But notice right here, as soon as I change and crop an image, a file will now be created, and that file will contain the, f the blob for the image, it'll also contain the name of the image and the type of the image. So we are ready to upload it when I press the add button. Let's see if it actually works so I can now start cropping images and uploading them. So let's go again and pick something here. We'll pick the deer again and I'll just try to make this smaller. Let's just take the head of it. There we go. And we'll try and do um, the add right here. I'll just write deer and I'll say add and hopefully it won't explode and I'll end up uploading an image right here. And you'll notice the deer has a beautiful image right here of my my nice little deer. So it worked perfectly. And we can even go to Firebase Stories if we want to and just check out that image. And there we have the beautiful deer available. Notice the size of it, 64 kilobytes. And if you checked out the size before, it was actually 700 kilobytes. So I just saved a lot of image real estate right there on my data storage system right here. So that's it. Now you can actually upload cropped images. That's, that's pretty amazing. Let's just take one more. Let's take uh, the small hair right here 
and let's just go and see if we can get a good image of that guy there we go and I'll upload the small animal by saying hair and saying add and let's see if that works as well being redirected and there we go we have the hair as well oh my god we have a system with files that we can upload yay see you next time have fun